Hare Krishna. When the mind says, our victories are too small to count, counter question it. What other way is there to big victories? Whenever we do anything which is worthwhile in our journey towards self-improvement, say we say we find fasting difficult, but we manage to fast for a particular holy day. We find uh, a particular discipline very difficult, but we do it for some time. Then the mind starts minimizing our efforts by saying, what's the use? You're not going to be able to do this forever. You just done it for some time and you're going to relapse. So when the mind starts saying that our victories are too small to count, at that time, what do we do? Actually, either we can become disheartened by just listening to the mind passively or we can challenge it. Okay, this word victory may be small, but small victories are the building blocks of big victories. There is no way we can suddenly achieve a big victory in anything. It is we fight small battles, we win small battles, and gradually then we move toward bigger battles. So anything, however significant, can be reduced to insignificance if it is placed in a in an inappropriate context. That means for a person who is just, uh, for a child who is learning to walk, the first steps are a big victory. Although adults take thousands of steps every day, and from that perspective, if the child compares to the adult, then the victory of taking one step might seem insignificant. But in the context, not of the child, of the adult, but of the child, the, uh, the victory is significant. And it is because that adult, who is now effortlessly taking thousand steps, one day, because that adult took those toddling steps that they grew gradually, improved their ability to walk and came to the state of, stage of walking effortlessly. So, uh, reducing something to insignificance by placing it in an inappropriate context is a dirty trick of the mind that we shouldn't be tricked by. We need to find out the context in which a particular effort of self-improvement can be placed most constructively. Yes, we shouldn't become proud of our small victories and think that, oh, now I have become great. No, we have a lot more to do. But the way to do it is by doing one, taking one small step at a time. In the journey towards self-mastery, this gradual progression is what Krishna recommends in the Bhagavad Gita 6.25 Shanai Shanai Ruparamed Buddhyadhati Gruhitaya Atma Samstham Manah Kratva Nakinchida Vichintayet So Shanai Shanai Ruparamed Gradually, step by step, Krishna says Buddhyadhati Gruhitaya With intelligence sustained by conviction Atma Samstham Manah Kratva Fix the, fix the mind on the self. That means focus on your innermost purpose. And don't bother about anything else. So don't bother when the mind distracts us by saying that what we are doing is insignificant. It isn't. So when we learn to counter the inner discouraging voice, that is how we can move forward progressively till we improve substantially, dramatically, even revolutionarily. Thank you. Hare Krishna.